Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Avengers issues 24 and 25 written by Stan the Man Lame. So I've been having a blast reading all these Silver Age comic books as of late. Stan Lee's writing is just a lot of fun, but in these two issues, it's a chore to read. In this story, we have the Avengers having to deal with Kang and the Avengers going to the future. And obviously, it's a Kang story, so the plot's going to be convoluted. You get these walls of text every other page where Stan really leans into the sci-fi aspect of the story, but there's just nothing there. And every time someone from the future interacts with an Avenger, they always say the same thing. You primitive people from the past and your stupid ways, so on and so forth. It gets very tiring. So the story starts off. We have Captain America who has left the Avengers. He's tired. That Hawkeye is just busting his balls every day. I find it hilarious that the Scarlet Witch is really sad because she's not going to see him train in the gym anymore. The way Stan Lee wrote women back in the day is freaking hilarious. Very much a product of its time. Yes. It would not be okay to write women that way nowadays, also. So what happens is Kang kidnaps the Avengers. He wants to create a giant spectacle to win over the hand of Ravona, who I find freaking hilarious that she despises Kang. He's willing to do anything to win over her hand and heart. And she can't even look at the guy that part's actually pretty fun. So his plan basically is that he's going to make a big spectacle, show off how he's going to defeat the primitive Avengers. But to his surprise, this is not the lineup that had defeated him originally. It's the second lineup, basically Cap's kooky quartet, and Cap's not part of the team at the moment. While all this goes down, Cap decides to become a professional boxer. So what happens is, the Avengers are able to escape. While all this is going down, Kang tries to take over the future. Tries to coerce Ravona to become his queen. Then Kang battles against the Avengers, and after that, one of Kang's generals rebels against Kang. Defeats Kang and tries to take over the throne of Ravona's father. Kang ends up teaming up with the Avengers. They save the day and they impress Ravona to the point that now she's ready to love Kang. And what happens at the end of the story is that we have our heroes, the victorious Kang is super happy. Now he has the hand of Ravona. When at last moment, Ravona gets shot in the back by that rebel general, she dies. Kang is heartbroken. The Avengers return to the present. End of story. But the thing is, when I read this, took me forever. Just two issues. The dialogues just really weighed it down. It became very boring. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.